she's a star, isn't she? Uh, uh, Susie as well as Anna. Yeah, you, 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 have you got a cat? I've got a cat, yeah, a cat called Phil. Did the same, actually. When we moved house, all the neighbours, he would go around and have food with them. Didn't realise. So basically, they go where food is, don't they? <laughs> they do. They certainly do. It, it, Susie looked very like my cat, Boise. And if Boise was in Dorchester, he'd be straight down the fishmongers or the butchers. <laughs> he wouldn't bother with charity shops and things like that. OK, let's uh, have a look at what the weather has in store. Alexis, how's it looking out there? Well, it's quite been quite cloudy today, but fairly mild as well. Temperatures didn't rise as high as we expected. This fairly cloudy scene was photographed today in Studland by one of our weather watchers and a really quite murky day taken today in West Sussex. So we did have a lot of low cloud, some mist and fog during the course of today. And we will continue to see a lot of cloud overnight tonight with a few clear spells. There will be some patchy rain as well during the overnight period. That will clear first thing tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine on offer for many. And there will be isolated shower, but also large areas of cloud in some places. Where the cloud is quite thick, we could see those showers. So tonight we'll see some patchy light rain and drizzle drift north and eastwards. That may bring down the Saharan dust from the upper atmosphere down towards the ground so we may see a dusting on your car first thing tomorrow morning temperatures dropping tonight to around seven to nine celsius so tomorrow there will be areas of cloud but also some brighter sunny spells as the day progresses there'll be more in the way of sunshine breaking through but where that cloud is quite thick as i said earlier there is the risk of an isolated shower temperatures tomorrow not as high as today so a cooler feeling day reaching around eight to 10 Celsius. Now through the course of tomorrow for the inshore waters, that's the coastal forecast from Selzybuild to Lyme Regis. The winds are west or northwest, three to five, becoming variable three or less, then southwesterly, two to four later. And the sea state is slight or moderate. Tomorrow night, it's a fairly quiet night and with clear skies and light winds, we could see a touch of frost, particularly out in the countryside, away from coastal stretches where temperatures could fall to freezing or just above. So it's a chilly start to the day on Wednesday, a good deal of sunshine expected during the morning. But as the day progresses, we'll start to see more cloud filter in from the west and a brisk breeze as well, which will be stronger along exposed coastal stretches. Large areas of cloud to end the day, but also some bright and sunny spells. Here's the outlook for the rest of the week. Through the course of Thursday, lots of sunshine on offer. Temperatures start to rise slightly. Friday, temperatures could be around 14 to 15 degrees, so pretty mild through the course of Friday. Temperatures well above their seasonal average of 7 to 8 degrees. A lot of dry weather in the forecast, maybe some rain overnight tonight. Also some patchy rain overnight through the course of Wednesday night and into the weekend. Friday, Saturday and also Sunday, large areas of cloud, but some bright and sunny spells. Tom. Alexis, thanks very much indeed. Uh, hey, I tell you what, we've got something good coming up tomorrow on South Today. We'll be dialing M for Museum as we investigate Portsmouth's Mobile Museum of Sound. Sounds intriguing. Bye for now. Good night. Good night.